Many of the world's most iconic locations now offer virtual tours, meaning you can visit museums, world heritage sites and other attractions from the comfort of your couch. You don't need a VR headset, either, although some attractions do support virtual reality for a more immersive experience. So if you're looking for things to do at home, and in need of a change of scenery, simply grab your laptop, tablet or phone, and join us on a world tour filled with history, nature and of course, technology. Before we start please if you are new to this channel, do subscribe and hit the bell icon. To check all of the virtual tours mentioned in this video, please check description. Number 1 is Machu Picchu, Andes Mountains, Peru. A simply stunning UNESCO World Heritage Site, Machu Picchu is a visual wonder that just has to be seen. You no longer need to fly all the way to Peru to see it in all its glory, however, as the virtual tour is comprehensive, immersive, and filled with fascinating insights. With 360-degree views of the ruins of Inca settlements and lush green landscapes, you can visit every popular vantage point and learn more about the history of the famous site thanks to a helpful voice narrator. Okay, you can't feel the warm breeze around you, but if you turn on the heat and have a handy desk fan set to low, it's almost as good as the real thing. Almost. Number 2. The Louvre Museum, Paris. An attraction visited by millions of tourists in person every year. The Louvre Museum has also created a selection of virtual tours based on its permanent collections. Explore Egyptian antiquities, the remains of the Louvre's moat, and the decorative arts of the Gallery d'Apollon. The tour is easy to navigate, with an expandable minimap that lets you highlight exhibits to view with just a couple of clicks. You can also find out more about each room in the Louvre, with detailed descriptions that will probably make the room you're actually sitting in feel frightfully dull in comparison. On number 3 is the National Museum of Computing, Milton Keynes, UK. The National Museum of Computing contains the world's largest collection of working historic computers. That means one of them probably runs Microsoft Vista and is still working. The museum features a fantastic, intuitive, virtual 3D tour. You can zoom in on each exhibit's details, and find out more about every aspect of computing history, such as the world's oldest working digital computer. Impressive stuff. Number 4. Is Georgia Aquarium, Georgia, USA. Nothing beats the beauty of nature, so it's good to know you can still get your daily dose of awe from the safety of your sofa. The Georgia Aquarium has over 50 species ranging from sea lions to underwater puffins, with many available to view via webcam. There's also a daily and weekly livestream that's aimed at piquing children's interest in animals, and a great at-home educational tool if you want to entertain the little ones. Ever wondered what a beluga whale gets up to in its spare time? Just click on the link below and find out. Water way to have a good time. Before moving to our last pick, here are some honorable mentiones. A 3-minute tour, Tokyo. The Vatican, Rome. Musée d'Orsay, Paris. Athens Acropolis, Athens. The Royal Academy of Arts, London. Our final pick is the British Museum, London. Home to a remarkable collection that spans over 2 million years of human history and culture, the British Museum has nearly 50 online exhibits to view. From Bonaparte and the Battle of Waterloo to exploring the history of LGBTQ, there's plenty of informative content to delve into. For a more interactive experience, check out the Museum of the World Tour. You can browse through a large selection of exhibits that are dated by century, continent and category, such as trade and conflict or art and design. Each exhibit offers a detailed description as well as accompanying audio, which helps provide a fascinating backstory to each piece. Thank you for watching. Please do hit like and subscribe button and if you have any ideas for our next video please do write in comments below.